Let's talk about your brain. Because the more you understand how your brain works, the easier it is to understand how trauma can affect it. So let's start with the basics. Your brain is divided into different regions, and each region has its own job. Think of it like a house. A house has a bunch of different rooms, each one with its own purpose. The kitchen is where you cook, the bedroom is where you sleep, and the bathroom is where you, you know, do bathroom stuff. Well, the brain operates in a similar way. Each region has their own function that they're in charge of. Today, our focus is going to be a region called the amygdala, which is where the brain stores the memories of threats in order to identify them and trigger defensive action in the future. The amygdala works closely with the brain's giant warehouse where all of your memories are stored. Now, you might be asking why your brain needs to hang on to all of these memories. Wouldn't it be less painful to just forget the bad times and focus on the good? Well, your brain's not sure which of those memories, good or bad, are going to be useful to you going forward. When you encounter a situation similar to one of these memories, your brain reacts and sounds the alarm. This allows you to take defensive action on a small bit of information. Now, it's pretty likely that if you're watching this, you've had more traumatic experiences in your life than most people which means that by necessity, you're gonna have a bigger warehouse of threat-related memories. That's okay. Your brain's working the way that it's supposed to. It's storing all of these memories so it can protect you in the future. It's like your brain is your very own bodyguard. When the amygdala identifies a threat, it triggers the body's defensive responses. Fight, flight, or freeze. Remember, this is just your brain trying to protect you. It's saying, we've seen these threats before, we need to act. You see, your brain's constantly looking for patterns and similarities to compare what you're experiencing now to what you've experienced in the past. When a threat's identified in the current situation, the brain will initiate an automatic defensive response. And its most automatic response is to protect us when it thinks it recognizes a pattern of threat. The more threat that our brain thinks we're under, the less we're able to think, and the more our brain relies on automatic responses.